everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on IS2QB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 3 and looking at the next topic which is 3.2 specification based techniques and we are having a new technique to understand altogether is pairwise testing. Where pairwise testing is also known as pairwise technique and it is altogether a different technique which is used to work with several parameters and different values so if you can quickly recall the previous tutorial about classification tree which generally deals with different classification and each classification having various classes uh, this is where we were talking about like it can be used as a combination to pairwise testing so uh, when it comes to pairwise technique uh, is generally uh, it makes use of different combinations of several parameters and their possible values. So uh, it is just like a combination where combinatorial testing, uh, classification testing, and uh, pairwise testing is used as a combined approach put together. But they two are different thing. Like pairwise is about creating pairs between different values, and classification tree is uh, dividing a scenario into. Uh, various classifications and different classes under each classification. Also to highlight, uh, pairwise testing is also called as combinatorial testing technique. Combinatorial generally means that uh, it is combination of several parameters given to you. So we have different types of combinations which can be done under pairwise testing technique. That is one wise, two wise, three wise and similarly continue till n wise subject to you have those many parameters but let's understand before what is this one wise two wise and all then we'll quickly look at a sample question so here for an example say you have three different classification one two and three and there are three classes for each one of these classification like class one class two and class three and let's assume that there are several values which is uh, allocated for each classification so like classification one has a b c similarly two has l m n and three has x y z so when you talk about one wise basically you pick up any one of these classification and try with any combination of the other two or the remaining one so when you say one wise that means one of the classification will be taken as base and the other two can be tested at least once with any combination of class one that is what you say one wise but when it comes to two wise we take two of the classification and make sure that both the classification are tested with all possible combinations which you can look at the table in the two wise coverage so we have a with l a with m a with n then b with l b with m b with n and then c with l c with m c with n but class 3 can be used in any order to match with one of these combinations Similarly, if you go with three wise, that means three into three into three. So you will have uh, uh, almost like 27 test cases. Thus, the table was quite big, so I didn't draw that. But yeah, this is what the easiest way to understand how many test cases will be there. But probably when it comes to advanced level technique, they may ask you how many test cases to be created. Or maybe probably they can give you the table and say that is there anything missing or any such thing related to that. So let's quickly look at one of the uh, sample example of this particular technique. A company offering house insurance policies has several policy options. They depend on the following factors, like one is building type, and there are four values for that, house, semi-detached, apartment building, or cottage. Material, there are four options, wood, concrete, brick, mixed. Location, city, suburb, countryside, wilderness. Now, if you see, there are three classification, and each classification have four classes or four different values. So, this is the best thing if you get uh, uh, each parameter with equal set of values, like four, 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 four. It becomes really easy for you to uh, get the number of test cases. But when it comes to irregular, say for example, the first one has five parameters, second one has three, and third one has two. Then, when you say one wise you take the maximum parameter values. The one which has the maximum values will be taken as the base and the other two will be used by any combination. When you say two, the first two highest will be taken for the several combination. But if it is regular like this one, you can take any of the two when you want to do a two wise coverage, any of two because all of them have four. So any such combination must be tested. So you are testing the system and using the pairwise technique for creating test cases. 
using the pairwise technique how many test cases are required to achieve two voice coverage so if you see if you take any of the two you will have eight parameters like four for each and four into four you would get 16 and straightforward the right answer is a so 16 is the right answer so that is how you basically work with uh, pairwise techniques if possible we we'll try to take uh, in this applications uh, about irregular one so stay tuned for that uh, till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding should you have any query feel free to comment below I'll be there to address your queries and thanks for being online team thanks for watching the video happy learning